feel like following March Madness 2022 but don't want to deal with cable or satellite? We're here to help. Hi folks and welcome to March. And for college basketball fans, that can only mean one thing. Yes, it's officially time for March Madness, or at least we're getting awfully close to tip off. So in this video, we're gonna go over the key details for both the women's and men's tournament, as well as the various ways you can catch both tournaments without cable or satellite, so you can plan your watch parties accordingly. And to kick things off, let's dive into the key dates and broadcasters to pay attention to for March Madness 2022. Key dates and times for March Madness 2022. So before we even get to those very first tip-offs, we need to know which teams are in and which teams are staying home. And that process has become an event all its own. It's an occasion known as Selection Sunday, and as you might suspect, it all takes place on Sunday, specifically Sunday, March 13th. You can catch the Selection Sunday broadcast for the men's tournament over on CBS at 6 p.m. Eastern on March 13th, and then later in the evening, flip on over to ESPN for the women's tournament's broadcast at 8 p.m. Eastern. And then, once those selections have been announced, we're ready to start watching some games, with the first four men's games set to take place on Tuesday, March 15th, and Wednesday, March 16th. On the women's side, the first four tip off on Wednesday, March 16th, and Thursday, March 17th. Those initial games, appropriately dubbed the first four, serve as a play-in round for the women's and men's tournaments, and the winners of those games will round out the full 64-team bracket when the full-on tournaments begin. As for when that starts, let's bring on some more graphics. So on your screen right now, you'll see the current schedule of games for both tournaments. You can follow the men's tournament on CBS networks, while the women's tournament will be carried on ABC and ESPN networks. The first and second rounds of men's games start on March 17th and run through March 20th. And then we narrow things down to the Sweet 16 and then the Elite 8 starting on March 24th. It all leads up to the Final Four in New Orleans starting on April 2nd. And as we've noted on the screen, exact times and teams are still TBD. So be sure to check with our news website, corecuttersnews.com, for more details as we get closer to tip-off. As for the women's tournament, those first four games take place on March 16th and 17th, and then the first round gets underway on March 18th and 19th. The regional rounds are set for March 25th to 28th, and the final four will take place in Minneapolis starting on April 1st. Then it all comes down to the championship game, also at the Target Center in Minneapolis, on April 3rd. And again, you can catch the women's tournament on ABC and ESPN networks, and be sure to check out CorkettersNews.com for all the latest times and dates. Okay, so now that we know when the games are being played, let's discuss how you can watch them without cable or satellite. How to stream March Madness 2022. All right, the most obvious and straightforward way to access March Madness games without cable or satellite is to leverage one of several live TV streaming services. Now, not every service offers the same channel lineup or pricing, so we've gone ahead and made a handy chart so you can compare your options. So on your screen right now are some of the top live TV streaming services currently on the market. We're talking about well-known names like YouTube TV, Hulu with Live TV, Sling TV, Fubo TV, Direct TV Stream, and Vidgo. And as you can see, some services offer all the channels involved in the men's and women's tournaments right from the get-go, with no add-ons required. For others, however, you may need to tack on an upgrade or a specific package to get all the channels needed to follow this year's tournaments. That's especially true for a channel like ESPNU, which is included in the base level plans for Hulu with Live TV, YouTube TV, and Vidgo, but it's part of an add-on package for other services. So if you don't already have a live TV streaming service in mind and you're aiming to plan around the women's and or men's tournaments, definitely take a look at the comparison on your screen to make the best decision. And along with these live TV streaming services, we also have a couple other options to discuss. First, there's the tried and true over-the-air antenna. That option can get you access to men's and women's games on CBS and ABC affiliates at essentially no additional cost beyond the antenna itself. If you want, you can pair that with a Sling TV account to make up for that service's lack of local channel access. But if you don't want to deal with an antenna, there's another option via Paramount+. Plus. So one of the perks of paying for the premium tier of the streaming service is that you get access to live local broadcasts from your CBS affiliate. And for March Madness, that means you'll get live access to a fair number of games during the men's tournament. 
So if you don't absolutely, positively have to have access to every single game this month, the Paramount Plus option could be a cost-effective alternative at $9.99 per month or $99.99 per year. And before we move on, don't forget the March Madness Live app, which you can use to track scores, view highlights and stats, and more. For the men's tournament, the app offers live streaming of all games on CBS, TBS, TNT, and True TV. However, there is a catch. Aside from CBS, you'll need a pay TV subscription handy to access games on those other channels. You do get a three hour free preview though, and again, those CBS games are available without a subscription. Wrapping it all up. So there you go. That was our look at how to stream March Madness here in 2022. And as we always say at this point, thank you all for watching. And don't forget to check out our news website, corecuttersnews.com, for all the latest on March Madness, especially as we approach the opening rounds and we know more about exact times and matchups. And if you haven't done so already, please do take a moment to consider clicking on those like and subscribe buttons down below. Those are both great ways to support our channel and they help nudge YouTube to keep recommending our content to more and more people. People. For now though, who are you backing in this year's tournaments? Feel free to sound off in the comment section down below with which teams you think will win it all. And until next time, my name is Philip Palermo. Thanks again for tuning in. Take care.